this is a poor man's mindset, right? Or, or the mindset that's inflicted on people to keep them down. And it's honestly a myth, right? I don't really see the rich following this again, like I've mentioned before. If you haven't seen my first video on this, right? Um, on, on It's not on this, but it was on a, a similar myth, right? Go watch that. But I think this is something that's spread and people think it's in hopes of, you know, this is really going to what's get this is really what's going to get you rich right um and it's not the case right i would say it's not the case and um yeah i think you know the thing that people often say is you always want to focus on one thing at a time or turn your attention to one thing at a time i would say this is completely false and this is going to keep you back right um and, and here's why but before we get into that If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is McKinney. Uh, this is 3FTV Faith Fitness and Finances. If you're a continued viewer, thank you for your support. Um, just want to make sure that you subscribe to this channel and you turn on the notifications, right? That is going to allow you to be notified and, and be blessed with the information from the start so you're not watching this a week or two later so you can start taking action now, start changing your destiny now and be one week closer, one month closer, one year closer to your dreams, right? And thank you so much for the support. If you can, like this video. If you want to wait to the end and have that, oh, you told me so moment, wait to the end like this video. And it's just gonna help me get this out there and it's gonna help encourage me as well, right? So, what is the one thing I want to go over? It is going to be multitasking. Multitasking is your friend. You need to actually make that your best friend, right? The rich people, the millionaires, the billionaires out there, they multitask like no one else. Yet, we have this mindset that you need to focus on one thing. While that is true, you don't wanna be focusing on 101 things at once. But you never know what is going to be that one thing that's going to make you successful and make you rich, right? So you need to have a few things in your books, right? That This happens in stocks, this happens in real estate. You need to diversify, you need to diversify the cities you're in in real estate, the type of households you have, the type of uh, investments you have. In stocks, you need to diversify your portfolio. You need to have some technology you need to have some finance fintech stock you need to have some pharmaceuticals you need to have some you know um different types of stock real estate stocks right you need to diversify and even in that when it comes to finding the next amazon or finding the next tesla or whatever google you need to diversify and not put all your money in this is going to be the breadwinner you need to have a few things that you feel like are going to be the breadwinner and put your money in that because one of those might go off a few of those might tank and realistically a majority of them might tank right but if you put your money in multiple one of them will go off and it's the same thing in life right you need to be able to multitask all rich people have multiple businesses they have multiple endeavors they never focus on one thing right you shouldn't focus on one thing right and I say this because um, once yeah I say this because I'm multitasking right now shooting this video so I live this out and this is what helped me be successful in 2020 and even the year before that and it's helping me have success right now right sometimes people are saying like you're doing a lot realistically I am not doing a lot I'm just testing different things out seeing which one works right and then a lot of the things that I do test out they fall under one umbrella right they fall under one umbrella and this is how you make the most you multitask so we can get into multitasking in different areas of business or finances, but that's not the point. The point now is whether you want to grow financially or grow in your fitness or grow in your faith or grow in your parenting, you need to find ways to multitask, right? I remember back in 2020 when I first started going heavy on this financial journey, I wanted to keep my fitness up as well, right? You know, it's beginning, this middle of a pandemic, I need to take care of my fitness, everything is closed down. Right, I'm doing at home workouts, but what do I do to make the most progress? Sorry about that. Um, I had to close out because my multi window closed, but just like that, multitasking, multi window. But get back into it, right? So I remember when I was hitting this financial journey hard. All right, let me close this because the sun is peeking in. Um, so what I would do would I, I, I would turn the TV on at night, right? When I work out at night. And I would turn on Graham Stephan, Richard Fain, Our Rich Journey, um, 
We have uh, Robert Kiyosaki, Dave Ramsey, uh, R- Ryan Panita. I, w- I would turn these people on and I'll work out during that time because I knew that I can maximize my time by doing that, right? Because I didn't need to focus 100% while I'm watching those videos. I just needed to hear and I would take it in. And when there's something I needed specifics on, I needed to watch, you know, what he was doing exactly, I would just rewind it and pause, right? I would do this with driving, right? When I would have to drive from Glendale, right, in Los Angeles, all the way to Torrance, I would turn on a podcast. I would um, listen to a sermon, listen, pray during the time, pray with someone else, right? Rich people do this all the time. I was watching a video on a billionaire and, you know, he made time for his fitness while he ran his companies. But also, he was smart. He knew he would have 15 minutes from the end of one meeting to him getting on the elevator, him waiting for his car to come, right? So you know what he would do? He would set appointments during that 15 minute window. He would have five minute appointments on the elevator, right? Going from his office down to the car. He would set that up so he can maximize his time. And I would do the same thing, right? If I knew I was gonna be in the car for 30 minutes, let me meet with a brother, right? If I knew I was gonna be on 30 minutes cycling on, on a uh, doing my aerobics or doing my cardio, right? I would set up a 30 minute Bible study while I'm on the bike, right? It, because I was in one spot. And I knew I would be doing low intensity, which means I can talk, right, while I'm exercising. So I would set up a Bible study and I can focus on that. I can have my Bible open in front of me while I'm on the, while I'm reclining back, just swipe through, read some, say some stuff, right? And even if I was doing sprints or something, right, I would take that time um, in between and, and, you know, I would comment and then I would go back to it while I'm listening, right? multitasking that's what I would do right and there are ways to do that and if you're trying to wonder like how do I do this how do I do that look at your schedule and find ways that you can combine two things at once maybe you have some phone meetings so schedule those phone meetings while you're driving to work or driving away from work or driving to the gym right schedule uh, you know phone calls during your cardio times your low intensity cardio times right um, if you don't know like I only have an hour to get in the gym and an hour to um, you know to, to, to read my Bible and stuff, so I don't know, I need to do that first because God comes first. Learn how to connect your, your gym workouts, your fitness to God. And then you can do 30 minutes of reading your Bible and praying, and then 30 minutes of worshiping while exercise. That is a thing, right? You, you can learn to incorporate your fitness into um, your everyday life. You can incorporate your finances into your everyday life, multitask. Multitasking is going to be the thing that is going to get you the furthest in life and is going to um, allow you to, to, to invest in multiple places at once and, and find something that is going to propel you forward. Multitasking is the thing that's going to help you develop personally while keeping track of your things that you are committed to already, right? So hopefully this makes a lot of sense. Like I said, I'm multitasking right now. Maybe you're multitasking while doing this YouTube video, but find more ways that you can multitask in your life and you'll see a lot of change and you'll see a lot of opportunities open up for you, right? So that's all I gotta say right now. Hopefully this makes sense. Um, If you're interested in the ways that I've learned while multitasking on how to increase my wealth or even this debt challenge that I'm doing, right? 300 a month debt pay down challenge. I am teaching you how to pay down debt without taking on a second job, without taking away from the commitments you make, whether it's with church or with your own fitness or with your family, how to add some things in your life right now that don't take up a lot of time and actually you can do while doing things you already do already, right? So it's multitasking. And if you want to learn that, sign up for my challenge. It is for people paying down debt, people saving up for a house, for a car, for a vacation, right? Multitasking is the way to do it, right? Um, so comment below if you want that. Hit the link down down in the bio and let me know. Let me know if you agree with this or if you don't agree with this or if you think I should stop recording videos and driving at the same time. But yeah, this is all I got to say. See you guys around and let's multitask out here.